Yo, what's going on? It is Miguel here. Welcome back to the channel if you're a subscriber and if not, welcome for the first time. Uh, on this channel, I like to talk about all things business, self-development related, all sorts of things like that. And today I'm going to be talking about something much more business related. You're gonna see a lot of the content uh, after, from this video and on be a lot more business focused because that is what I'm going to be diving into again, research wise, where, where I'm like just going through a lot of old books about business, copywriting, all that stuff. Um, so naturally all of my content is just gonna to start to look like that. Hopefully that's exciting. So in this first video, I'm going to be talking about the easiest way to get better at copywriting. If you don't know what copywriting is, it is basically salesmanship in print. I, anytime you see any sort of words online, anytime you see uh, any any sort of sales page, any website where anything is being sold, all of the words that are on that website is considered copy. So naturally, you can imagine that is a pretty useful skill to have and it's pretty much in demand at all times because it's used everywhere, which is a very good thing, but also mean, it also means that there is a lot of competition. So the best way to outdo your competition, uh, at least the way that it's worked for me and the way I see it working for everyone else and what I've gotten from my mentors, the best way to outdo your entire competition is by getting better, honing your skill set. So that is what you're going to be doing in order to become a beast at copywriting. And the easiest way to do that is by writing more. Every single time I've told someone this, they never expect this to be my answer. They're always thinking that there's some interesting, uh, crazy, elaborate way in order to get better at writing copy. But in order for you to get better at anything, you need to practice that thing over and over and over again. When I played football, it wasn't like we weren't running about a million plays. That might be the, the perception if you've never played a sport or any sport like football. I'm not sure how much other sports work, which is the, the point exactly. The, the way you get better at any sort of like football thing is you, you, we ran the same plays over and over and over and over again. The same ones over. We ran the same defenses over and over and over again. We practiced on the same drills, how to tackle day after day after day after day. And that is how someone gets better at a sport. So if you want to wonder, if you wonder how do I get better at something like writing copy? Well, you write like crazy. You may be wondering like when you get that advice, okay, well then what are some ways that I can practice writing copy? Because for whatever reason, we try to make things complicated in about a million different ways, which is what is holding people back in the first place because something as simple as just writing anything can, can help. But if you are still unsure and you don't want to make, and I want to do what I can to make sure that this isn't an excuse for you because what, because once this excuse is off the table, then you can actually start doing what is important and start building the skill. So there are a couple of ways that you can practice writing copy. The first one I would suggest, which is the easiest one and, and has all these other types of type, other, all these other benefits on the side is start writing a journal daily. When I say daily, I obviously mean the days that you can actually uh, fit it in, which should be most, most nights. So I write mine right before bed because I feel like it declutters my brain and then I get to sleep. Uh, so most people like to do it in the morning. I think it's, it's either one. Uh, you can write in your journal as much as you possibly like, but literally just write anything. Just let it be a free flow of thoughts. What you're doing is you're teaching your brain to take your thoughts and actually change them into words. So if you're constantly doing that like over and over and over and over again, then naturally you're going to start get get better at that because neural pathways start to 
uh, work in some sort of scientific way. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but basically when you do something repeatedly, that is what your brain starts to learn how to do on an unconscious competence level meaning you can basically start writing in your sleep. So by writing a journal, that is what you're going to be doing. I also heard apparently it has like therapeutic benefits and all sorts of things where it's like good for your brain just in general. So you get those side benefits from, from journaling as well. So, so the goal with copy is to actually sell something, right? So yes, journaling is going to help with actually writing, but we also need to get better at selling something, selling anything. So the next thing you can do practically to get better at copy is to pretend that you are the email marketer of some company and to start writing daily emails for them. Something you can also do if you really do like this company and you actually wouldn't mind working with this company because you, you see a good avenue of yourself being able to work with this company and be able to do their email marketing is by writing these emails and just sending it to them and telling them that they can use it. Be like, hey, uh, I had this idea where you your business does some sort of promotion and uh, I felt like these emails would help uh, push that promotion. Um, so I want you to have them, maybe try it out if you want uh, next week or something, see if it works out. If it does, that's awesome. Uh, if not, uh, I like, sorry for, for wasting your time. Something like that. I don't know. But it, just sending people free work like that is definitely a good way for you to get practice and you may even get a mentor or a job out of it in the end. So those are the two main ways I would suggest getting better at writing copy. Uh, in terms of writing more, keeping a journal and writing daily emails. Also a third useful tactic you can use in order to get better at writing copy is actually pick a lane. Pick what it is that you think you would be best at writing copy. Wherever that lane may be, whether it be writing copy for product descriptions, uh, for people's stores where they sell physical products, is it sales pages, is it ads, is it writing copy for influencers caption or something? Whatever it is, email marketing, whatever it is. Uh, copy that, I mean, not copy, uh, practice that one as well. So if it is email marketing and you're already practicing that, just practice it even more. If you wanna do sales pages, then try to make a sales page like once a month or something like that. If it's ads, like depending on, basically depending on the amount of extra work this is going to create with you getting better at writing copy, because a sales page takes a little bit longer because you have to do a lot of research and all that stuff. Emails, you can do that in 10, 15 minutes, maybe 25 minutes if you're just getting started. But after you start writing more and more and more, you can start banging out emails in like five minutes. So depending on the amount of the the size of the workload that you're going to be taking on from learning this other copywriting skill uh, set aside time uh, judge the amount of times that you do that so a sales page maybe like a month facebook ads maybe like three actually you can do that daily honestly uh, just writing up an ad real quick, at least one. Yeah, you would get very good at writing ads. If you start, if you literally wrote one ad a day about anything you could possibly imagine, you would be amazing at writing ads. So that's it, guys. Naturally, with a video like this, uh, I'm going to get the question, what are your favorite copywriting books and all that stuff? Uh, I'm going to make a video on that topic next week. Uh, so expect that. Also, I'm only gonna be making one video a week because I want to try and make these video much vid because I want to try and make these videos much more valuable and much more entertaining and put a lot more effort into it. Uh, and in order to do that, I need to actually reduce the amount of videos that I upload, but put more of that time that I would have used to make two videos into one video. And I'm going to see how that turns out. Uh, and if it's better for the channel and better for, for you guys, because you're actually, uh, you're getting a, much more like paced out Miguel. Also, I am in my office. I hope you like the new setup. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you like the way this video was done in comparison to the other videos that I've made, which should be a drastic difference. Uh, and oh yeah, I cut my hair. So 
that's also a thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. And see you next week. Peace out.